This is KION News Channel 546 at 6. As the number of migrant children in the U.S. surges, the Biden administration is asking for federal workers to help care and place unaccompanied migrant children arriving at the U.S. border. Thanks for joining us tonight for KION News at 6. I'm Veronica Macias. Some volunteers from right here at home on the Central Coast already heading to the border to attempt to help some children there. KION's Jonathan Saravia has more on their efforts tonight. Jonathan. Veronica, the American Red Cross Northern California Coastal Region tells us that they are sending 10 local volunteers to help FEMA and other organizations with assisting the children at the border. Today we have a crisis in which the treatment they are receiving is not the treatment they deserve. At this time, more than 18,000 unaccompanied migrant children are in the custody of the Border Patrol and a group of volunteers from the Central Coast was mobilized to help ensure that these children have a safe place to stay until they can connect with a family member or sponsor here in the United States. Mi mamá no la conozco, mi papá se vino para acá hace el mes pasado se vino. No sé dónde está. The Department of Health and Human Services is looking for volunteers who can help for 30 to 120 days. Volunteers will be assigned to San Diego and cities in Texas such as Dallas and San Antonio. Professor William Arrocha of the Middlebury Institute of International Studies in Monterey tells me that what we are seeing now with migrant children is no surprise. La crisis se debe. The crisis is due to a series of previous policies that created a bottleneck at the border. Arrocha specializes in immigration, international development, and U.S.-Mexico relations. And he says that dealing with this situation requires interagency coordination at the national level that demonstrates a political will to accelerate coordination between governmental and non-governmental agencies. They have to be able to work as a team. They have to share resources and skills to care for these children. Special attention is required. Veronica, I am also told that not only the 18,000 that are waiting there right now, but there is also still another 70,000 children and families who have been waiting for Mexico to enter the U.S. due to the policy of staying in Mexico that no longer exists. Back to you, Veronica. 